Hey everybody, welcome back to Azure Plays and more Pokemon Hearts Gold, where last time we went into the Team Rocket kind of radio headquarters place. Got rid of all the Team Rocket members there by just kind of thrashing them. Learning a password, multiple passwords anyway, and having a Murkrow kind of just be like, El Giovanni, and then we kind of got in and just kind of destroyed everything. So now, now that this town is safe, there's no radio signals making all the Pokemon in the Lake of Rage being ragey, then more than they are anyway, we can actually go and take on the gym, the Mahogany Gym. As you can tell, this place is a fridge, or freezer, so it kind of specializes in ice types. I got a new town Pokemon gym. Cool. Thank you for the lack of information there. <laughs> can you give me some information? Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep up the hot fighting spirit against ice. I hope, Turbo, you'll be pretty good here. Turbo's very eager. I hope so too, buddy. Let's do this. So, we're dealing with ice puzzles. So if we want to take care of this ice puzzle, it's pretty simple on this one. Since they're kind of frozen together, we're pretty much done with this room already. We can just do that and move on. Now, we got some trainers we could deal with. So, we can go right over here if you want. To get to Price or Gym Leader, you must think before you skate. I mean, in this case, I'm sliding because I don't really have ice skates on. Unless they actually, like, if you think about it, like, maybe they walked in and it's like, you'll need these to progress in the gym. And they just give the trainer ice skates. They, like, find his, like, shoe type and all that. Okay, Jinx. This is probably not the best idea in the world, but I'm just gonna try Ember and just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> All right, Mean Look. Not the best star in the world, but yeah, since I can no longer escape, I kind of make sure I have to do something here. And Ember's not great, unfortunately enough. So I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. But at least that's not very effective against me. So we're kind of good here. So is I have to do two Embers to get rid of everything here. I don't have flamethrower. It, it's still better than nothing. There you go. I wouldn't lose to you in skiing. I wouldn't doubt that. Because I've never gone skiing once in my life. I would love to because it does sound like fun. But I never have. Alright, and we have another trainer right over here that can fight. Which, hmm... I don't think I have a good typing for this one because I do know what you have and... Yeah, I don't really have anything good. So uh, let's swap and see what I can do here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you're not good here. I could just have two fleet just go in and do stuff, which is probably what I'm going to do. There's not really too much I could do because I don't really have the good typings as far as I'm aware. This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. I mean, we kind of are. But that that's just me. Hello, Border Paton. That's I'm not gonna say the weird name, but it's not a name I'm used to seeing. Alright, well, this thing, I can just use water on it and do like a ton of damage, so that that's nice. <laughs> I mean fire is also good. I could just use turbo as well, but just kinda spread the love a little bit, see if I can get you down pretty quickly. Okay. So the thing, I'm not sure if it's slow or if it's just because two fleas naturally faster. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to swap. It's okay. I'm just going to go over the turbo so we can get a little bit more experience on turbo. Turbo has slightly less health here, but I think I should be okay as long as this thing doesn't wreck me with anything. Like that. Uh, that wasn't that bad, honestly, for a super effective move. Accuracy falling, though, it's a little bit of a bother, but I do a decent chunk of damage with Ember, so it works for me. And there we go. Border Patan is down. You see how serious we are? I mean, I, I guess I do. I don't really know exactly. But yeah, let's see. So we got two blocks over here. But what I could do is I could hit that block over there move it around like it basically kind of just does a, like a this action then I just do over this and then I go over here kind of an easy puzzle not too bad now we have a little bit more trainers here and there that wall doesn't look right the one on the right here but I guess it's the same over here either way hello hey hey are you shivering are you scared to fight me no it's a freezer in here now in your case you have water types, so I'm not really in the best situation for this, but I could just, like, 
Uh, this is probably not going to do a lot, but... Yeah, since you do have the typing. But I could just hit you and see how much I do. <laughs> We're training weak blows. Let's see how well this goes. My weak blow is better, which means... Okay, yeah. Ice types definitely have the chance to freeze stuff solid. And if you have a fire type move, you can get out of it pretty dang quickly. But if the Pokemon's frozen, it can't really do too much unless it decides to unfreeze immediately. I mean, that, that works, I suppose. That's not that big of a deal. I'll just do crunch. All right, let's see if you actually freeze me in return. Because if you do, that's kind of like a little bit of karma on my part. But it did like two damage, so it freezing... It's not like a damage based thing, but imagine if it like the chance of it freezing you even though it barely did any damage was like minuscule. That'd be kind of cool, but I kind of doubt it works that way. I think it's just a percentage chance. Dugong. Uh, yes, I'm actually going to switch my Pokemon. I'm going to swap over the Jupiter because Jupiter is going to be able to do some damage here. Not exactly a lot, but... There is a little bit of a water typing thing going on, but we do have like ice type moves and stuff to worry about. But if I just punch it in the face, I should be okay. <laughs> okay, are you kidding me? I need like one level up to get around that. That's so bad. I hate when that happens so much. Okay. Ow. Yeah, that definitely does a lot more on me, but that was a crit hit, so... Yeah, I'm not complaining. Bonk. All right, you're down. Gives my health back, and then we have, I believe, another seal. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna keep battling, I'm fine. I could just punch you in the face. Since you're not evolved, I'm pretty sure that me punching you in the face is going to knock you out, like, immediately. There we go. <laughs> That's about what I expected. All right, moving on. You're so strong, it's scary. I mean, I just did a lot of damage to you. It's not that big of a deal. Strongest don't usually look very strong. I think you fit that description. Cool. Thank you. Now I feel like trash. Either way, I'm swapping out because... I want to put two flea in the front. I definitely want to get Turbo some experience. But what I could do for that is I'm going to swap Jupiter in the front here. And then let's just continue from there. Let's see. Now this puzzle, this one looks a little bit more complicated. What I could do is I could hit that one up. But I definitely want to get to that trainer over there. Which if I do, depending on how I go about it, no matter what... If I go up from here, I battle that trainer. If I go up from here, I hit this block this way. And basically, if I go this way, I battle this trainer. I know Price is secret. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for this information. You're going to share? <laughs> Border Gerardo. Gerardo, I guess. All right, Shelter. Well, you're going to go down pretty easily with a punch to the face. This is fine. Yep, Jupiter's gonna kind of wipe out this gym for the most part. I say for the most part. There we go. A little bit more HP, please. Thank you. Cloyster. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep battling. I think I'm fine with this. There we go. How about I just throw another Thunder Punch? I just tapped on the screen really fast. I'm kind of glad I used Thunder Punch. <laughs> okay, that was not quite enough, but that helps. I get a little bit of health back. And... Supersonic. Aha! I missed. Alright, I'm just gonna punch you in the face again. Gotta watch out where you punch, though, because there's, like, a big spike right there. Thank you. Get a little bit more health back. Almost maxed out already. Alright, we got... Another seal. I'm just gonna keep battling. He's like, I just punch you in the face one more time and... Maybe get full health from this and not have to like waste an item to heal like three HP. There we go. A crit hit and super effective. Uh, I'm so sorry. 
There we go. Full health. Okay, I'll tell you Price's secret. I guess I gotta talk to you again for that. The reason Price is strong is because every day he sits on top of very cold ice and trains his body and spirit. I mean, I suppose that works, but either way, I'm gonna go down here and over here and over here. And since I can't reach Price just yet, what I could do is I could just go this way, which, um, yeah, let's do that. Hello. Slide right into you. Check out my parallel turn. I would, but I kind of can't see it unless you count that as a parallel turn. I don't know. I don't know what a parallel turn is. I don't ski. Either way, it's just gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's pretty much the exact description of what's happening here, is me punching everything in the face. There we go, that's... At least that wasn't in a range to a point where you would just use Aqua Ring and heal yourself again, because that's just slightly annoying how that works. That's not awful, per se. Not awful. Okay, Thunder Punch. There we go. Jupiter gets some experience, Miss Fortune gets some experience, and there we go. No, you made me wipe out. I mean, did I? You're still standing around, so I think we're okay here. I shouldn't have been bragging about my skiing. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, we just go over here, hit this, and then moves that over, so we can just do this, and then we're here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to actually heal while I'm going over here, so I don't have to do it during the battle. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I got some Moo Moo Milk I could use, so let's just kind of pop one of those onto Turbo. Jupiter's okay, but I kind of want to make sure anyway. Do I got anything that's cheaper than Moo Moo Milk? Um, that's a no. <laughs> All right then. So I'm just going to use a Moo Moo Milk. I mean, it's not awful because I've been getting enough to buy more just by doing these battles alone anyway, so not that big of a deal. All right, Price. Are you actually old or do you just have white anime hair? I'm gonna have many experiences in their lives just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I'm your elder, let me show you what I mean. So you actually are old and you don't just have anime white hair. I've been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the winter trainer, shall demonstrate my power. All right, let's see how white anime hair does against me. I mean, I guess you do have an AC unit right behind you or something that's just making this place even colder. Well, this is fine. Your Pokemon typing isn't that big of a deal. This seal has icy wind, rest, snore, and hail. So I can probably just punch it in the face and just be done with it. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, I still have a chance of being frozen over, which can be an issue. But since it didn't use rest or snore, it's not going to get its health back, so I don't have to worry too much because I'm just going to punch it in the face again. Or I could use a Hyper Potion. Cool. Can I get a crit? Because I hate when they do that. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Bring you right back down to where you were, and then I get my health back. What now? We kind of traded the blows, and now we're basically back where we started. Well, it used Rest, which pretty much gets its health back. It does have Snore, which can be an issue but hopefully I can get a crit hit and just get around this. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a crit hit, but it still did enough. It was just in a little bit of a threshold just to do slightly more. Pillow Swine. I'm actually going to swap Pokemon over here. This is not the best idea, especially since I'm lower level than it, but why not? All right, Turbo, let's see if I can get you some experience here. All right, this thing's level 34, has Blizzard, Ice Fang, Mud Bomb, and Hail. So it does have something that it can do against me, but maybe I can get around that and not have like to worry about it too much. All right, never mind. I I I made the attempt and the attempt just flatlined. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right then, so I don't really have too many options here. I mean, I could just continue my assault of punching it in the face. So it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I, mm. two please. 
let's do this. We'll just, we'll provide, provide some cover here. All right, we're just going to do water gun. I mean, I'm not worried too much here. I mean, it's still going to do some decent damage to me, but not really too much this thing can do aside from just lowering my accuracy a little bit. So as long as it just keep hitting it, I should be okay. Great. At least you're doing that because it brings you a little bit higher up with your citrus berry. And then I just do a little bit of damage and then maybe you. That did a lot of damage. Okay, that's... We're just going to keep going. See how this goes. There we go. That puts you right there on the edge. Okay, that's a problem. Great. That just makes me get hit by ice every turn, which can be annoying, and I miss. Great, there's the mud bomb. Do not crit. Okay, I just need to hit one time, and I should be okay, but I think this actually ends it here because I get hit by the hail. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. All right, then. I think Jupiter's going to have to kind of cover the rest of this gym, but Buzz Faint, actually is fast enough that I could just get a good hit in and just do some damage. So how about I just do a little bit of U-turn? There we go. And then I can immediately swap back to Jupiter because the next Pokemon that I'm gonna be dealing with is gonna be useful with. There we go. You're down. Misfortune gets a lot of experience. Misfortune is level 33, awesome. Thank you. Aqua Tail. Uh, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. Aqua Tail. User attacks by swinging his tail as if it were a vicious wave in a raging storm. It's a physical 90-90 dragon move, which honestly is good. Dragon Rage is nice because it does like 40 HP always. Twister only does like a decent amount and it makes the foe flinch. But I think I'm going to just forget it because I just got a stronger move. So, all right. If worse comes to worse, I could just swap it out for something anyway. So, not that big of a deal. All right. Buzzfeed didn't quite level, which is unfortunate. But what I can do is I could just swap out and just kind of see if I can get an extra level over here. He's really close now. So, we can kind of see how this goes. He's got a dugong. No items on it. Hmm, you're quite the trainer. But we're dealing with Aurora Beam. Rest, Sleep Talk, and Ice Shard. So we kind of have the whole I'm going to go to bed thing and then just do damage to you sort of situation going on again. So that's kind of annoying. But I can just get a U-turn off, do a little bit of damage. It's not a lot, mind you, but it's still a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's like a decent, like good amount so if I get a decent good thunder punch in there I might be able to just one shot you and won't have to deal with any of your nonsense so I just have to see how this goes that's a decent chunk of damage and that's my attack going down that's an issue all right that's just fine I just do a thunder punch and just kind of hope for the best you are faster than me that's kind of shocking Hopefully this is more shocking. Ugh, that's not right. At least I get some of my health back, which is better, but then I just lose it to the... Never mind. <laughs> Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. Cool. Thank you for the information. I'm going to punch your Dugan in the face. Great. <laughs> okay. Well, since it's sleeping, it's just going to do sleep talk until it wakes up. So we're just going to have to see how this plays out. I don't really have too many options now, but at least I can get my health back. It's fast asleep and sleep talk. There it is. Uh huh. Ow. Yeah, sleep talk basically makes it so you can use a move in your pool. Which means it can still hit me even when it's sleeping. But since it's already sleeping and I get some of my health back, 
I should be able to outlast it and just do a little bit more damage. I don't have Thunder Punch anymore. That's... All right, I guess Charge Beam it is. Ah! <laughs> Why? Just stop prolonging the battle. There we go. That's a lot more damage than I did with Thunder Punch because it's not a physical. <laughs> there we go. And another Charge Beam. Aurora Beam. Okay, that's going to hurt. But I outlasted. We're good. If it was a crit, though, on the other hand, that would have been a problem. All right, there we go. That actually went rather smoothly. I mean, Ice types... No offense, they're not great. <laughs> so, yeah, if it didn't go smoothly, I'd be kind of embarrassed. <laughs> All right, and Buzz Faint still did not level. Hmm, seems as if my luck has run out. It's a lot of money. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you overcome all of life's obstacles. You're worthy of this badge. You got the Glacier Badge from Price. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. Cool. <laughs> Unless your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across rural Whirlpools. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And this, this is a gift from me. You get TM07. That TM contains hail. It summons a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. Oh, good to know. The hailstorm damages all types except ice, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't have anything that's ice. And the ice is still melt. Spring arrives. You and your Pokemon will be together for many years to come. Cherish your time together. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Thankfully, at least moving out of the puzzle, it's plenty simple. We could just go straight down and then over. Yeah, moving out of the puzzle is a lot easier than going through the puzzle. Unless it's like this room here where you could just go straight down, over, down. Hello, we're down here. Price is something, but you're something else. That was a hot battle that spanned the generations. Maybe a little bit. And haha, -ha, generation joke. Professor Elm's calling. Azure, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. Still? They were talking about Team Rocket. Azure, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. So something's going on with the radio broadcast. We need to find out what's going on there. And if they're talking about Team Rocket, maybe we should head back to Golden Rod City. Next time my Azure plays, more Pokemon Hearts Gold. Let's go see what's up. I'll see you all then.